Hey guys, and welcome back to another Skyrim Mod Showcase. In today's video, I have collected some recently released mods that I think you guys will enjoy. Anyways, without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. First up, we got an amazing mod called Guardian Shield, which brings the iconic shield from the game God of War into the world of Skyrim. This mod adds a diverse range of 6 amazing colors of the Guardian Shield, making it a cool addition to your shield collection. The best part about this mod is that all 6 colors are craftable. Another great feature of this mod is that you have the option to choose whether you want the shield to be light armor or heavy armor. Now, to make this mod look even more from God of War, Kratos' Guardian Shield animated adds animations to Guardian Shield, making it feel like you're actually wielding the real thing. I personally think that the author did a really great job in animating the shield and to be fair, I did not know that animating something like this is possible for a shield. Overall, this is a cool addition for anyone who loves God of War and wants to fully immerse themselves in the game. Before we continue with more amazing mods, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play mobile RPG game with over 700 collectible champions that are unique and heavily customizable. It has stunning graphics, amazing PvP and PvE content, plus amazing boss fights. Raid Shadow Legends is definitely worth checking out, but there's more than that. Every great game has its ultimate challenge. For Raid, that challenge is the Doom Tower, with each floor more treacherous than the last. The Doom Tower is a journey that will push you to your limits and test your strategy to the max. To conquer the Doom Tower, you'll need a specialized team of champions with skills like debuff removal and high resistance. Some bosses even require specific mechanics to defeat them, like the Scarab King, who takes minimal damage unless you reduce his max HP. But with careful planning and the right champions, you can overcome any challenge. Another exciting event that is happening right now is Raid going on an egg hunt. Download Raid using the links below and get ready to embark on a journey like no other. From April 14th to May 15th, you can also take part in an exciting augmented reality adventure by visiting egghunt.plarium.com. To participate, simply copy your in-game player ID and enter it on the website. Once you've done that, you'll journey through a flaming portal and find yourself in a world of exciting AR adventure. Score the Dragon Slayer using your phone and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes. Ranging from legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. This event is for new players and existing raid players. Go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, now is the perfect time to join in on the action. With my special link in the description or scan my QR code, you can get insane bonuses that will give you a head start on your journey, including an epic champion Talia and other free bonuses. So what are you waiting for? Download Raid now! Moving on to the next mod is Vokaris. This mod is a complete sound overhaul for the Conjuration and is designed to be used with Immersive Sounds Compendium. Trust me when I say that this mod is an absolute must-have for any Skyrim player. The difference in sound quality is truly remarkable, and you'll be amazed on how much immersive the game becomes with this mod installed. Anyways, here are some vanilla versus modded comparison.
Next up, we have an immersive mod called Detailed Carriages 2.0. This immersive mod overhauls Skyrim's carriage, giving each one a unique theme and design that corresponds to its location. From the East Trading Company items in Solitude's carriage to the Nord Horn in Wildhelms, each carriage is now more detailed and interesting to look at. Another cool feature of this mod is that it also supports Heartfire DLC and patches for other carriage overhauls, making it a versatile and easy to use mod. The attention to detail is impressive, and instead of the generic mode of transportation, each one now has its own personality and style. Personally, I think it's a small change, but it makes a big difference in the overall immersive experience. Another mod worth mentioning is New Wainon, a small but impressive settlement that seamlessly integrates next to Loria's farm. This mod is a fantastic addition to your game, offering a range of new features to enjoy. One of the most exciting aspects of New Wainon is the addition of three new small quests that can be found in and around the settlement. These quests add new content to the game, giving you more to explore and experience as you play, plus with an inn, an alchemist, and blacksmith to discover. Overall, if you love exploring, this mod is a great addition to your mod list. Next up, we got a new armor set called Winged Hussar Armor and Weapons. This mod offers a replica of the famous Polish Hussars known for their iconic winged armor set. The wings on the armor were not just for decoration, as they were used to instill fear in the enemy ranks. The winged Hussars were a heavy cavalry unit that could strike fear into the hearts of their opponents before they even realized what was happening. What I love about this mod is how seamlessly it integrates into the world of Skyrim. The armor set has a similar look and feel to the Imperial armor, making it feel like it was always meant to be part of the game. The attention to detail in this mod is impressive with intricate designs and textures that bring the armor to life. So if you're looking for a new and exciting armor set to add to your collection, then this mod is a definitely must-have. Last but not the least, Spaghetti Solstheim Ravenrock. This mod is an excellent mod that brings a fresh look to the city of Ravenrock without sacrificing the vanilla feel of the game. The mod is very lightweight and does not cause compatibility issues or significantly reduce your FPS. The attention to detail is impressive with easily noticed additions that enhance the overall atmosphere of the city. I also think the author did an amazing job in enhancing the city. The level of attention to detail is apparent, with the careful planning and placement of clutter to ensure compatibility with other mods and prevent unnecessary clutter. It can be seen that the author had a clear vision in mind when creating this mod, and they executed it flawlessly. Overall, the mod is perfect for players who want to improve the look of Ravenrock without drastically altering it. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to endorse all the mod authors, as we won't be even playing Skyrim without them. Don't forget to always stay safe and have fun in your Skyrim adventures. Happy modding, everyone!